Hello and welcome. Today we are in the tier 8 French destroyer, the La Fantasque. We are playing Brawl on the map Shatter. This time we are against uh, the tier 8 German battleship Bismarck. So, my game plan here is I will straight rush towards the enemy, then I will try to get to the side of the battleship and put six torpedoes in her if that's not enough, then turn around and drop another three from the other side, and or use my guns a little bit here and there. Now Bismarck does have Hydro, so you might think that it should protect her against lots of uh, torpedoes from destroyers. However, the Laffin task is so quick that it's very difficult for the Bismarck to do something. Now, if the Bismarck is clever, what she could do is not sail straight into the cap as I expect her to, but instead wait sideways somewhere over there behind the island, and that would be quite surprising to me and perhaps that might actually save the Bismarck's life. However, most battleships don't seem to do anything like that, which means that I'm just gonna be completely alright. My torpedoes are up in 7 seconds, I'm gonna take the caps just in case, and then I'm gonna go through this gap here between the islands, and hopefully there will be a Bismarck on the other side that I get to torpedo immediately. Here's the moment of truth, I'm spotted, and there's the Bismarck. Open fire, oh 8p, that's not good, I should use HA. Also reload booster. I'm gonna sail straight towards him. I don't want to use damage control party here, because I want to make sure I get my torpedoes off. Having my engine broken is nothing compared to having my torque tubes broken. Come on, and there she goes. Goodbye Bismarck. What a quick game. Le Fantasque is pretty fantastic for this game mode, because you're fast and you get to do stuff quickly. I took 14,000 damage, look at that, 11k from the secondaries, only 2,000 from the main batteries. Anyways, next up we are against an Edinburgh on the map uh, Crash Zone Alpha. This is a much more open map. Now keep in mind, one of the most important things in this game mode is the first contact, the way you spot one another, that can determine the fight entirely. So it's incredibly important to play around your concealment. And my plan here is to rush into between the two caps immediately, so that I can start capping them as early as possible, and then see where the Edinburgh comes around from. Because if she comes around the big island, I can just keep running away. The idea is that I wish to make sure that the Edinburgh doesn't turn around to start running, because that can lead into a really bad game for me. Right, because if Edinburgh runs, it's incredibly difficult to torpedo her. Okay, we're in the cap. We're in the second cap. Now, do keep in mind, this is information for the Edinburgh too. She has a rough idea where I am based on the fact that I'm capping both. And there she is. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I probably don't wish to do an engagement right here. I want her to be sailing towards me so that it's harder for her to turn around and run. I should probably turp though, because it does seem like she's going around the... like in a straight line. I have one of the caps, well, both of them, but the other one is locked. And the Edinburgh is getting closer, my concealment is 6.4. So I'm gonna just leave. I'm gonna loop around the island. She'll know exactly where I am anyway, so I might as well take one salvo. I only did 810 damage, but hey, it's still damage. Oh, and we even hit a torpedo. That's 18,000 damage now. That's pretty good. Now, of course, Edinburgh does have a heal and all that, so it's not like she has only, like, 60% HP left. However, I think torpedoes from one side might maybe not kill her outright, but at least they should get her low enough. I do need to worry that she has torpedoes too, but uh, here I decide that I'm just gonna go for it now. I expect the Edinburgh will 
either be far away so that I don't get spotted or sailing closer. And well, there she is. HE, because she is angled, and I'm just gonna point my bow directly towards the Edinburgh so that she does minimal amounts of damage. And we're gonna use AP now since we can citadel her. Let's drop torps and try to stay close enough so that her torps can't arm. Hey, we even got the citadel. And now we're on the other side of the Edinburgh, so we don't have to worry about the guns as much anymore. She can torp, but I can easily avoid them by killing the Edinburgh before it even matters. AP on the Elephant task is pretty fantastic. 45,794 damage, so she did actually get that heal off. I would say that the first torpedo that I had on the first set, that was actually pretty useful. It definitely saved me a lot of trouble here. Because, I mean, I had to deal 17k damage with the secondary, or main guns. I only did take 4,000 damage, so I probably could have been in a fight with her for far longer. So one thing to keep in mind against British cruisers, just point your nose directly at them. And they're much less likely to deal a lot of damage to you. The same goes, by the way, against the Italian ones. Anyways. Here we are against uh, the uh, Ki, which is a Japanese battleship. She does have torpedoes, which can be dangerous to me, but their launch angle is pretty iffy, so it's probably not as big of a problem. The other point, though, is that Japanese battleships generally have pretty good torpedo protection. I'm not entirely certain what it is on the Ki, but I'm guessing it's not that much different from the Amagi. And Amagi is amazing. Which means that I don't know if six torps are going to be enough. I might have to do something on top of that. Especially if he has the ability which allows you to take more torpedo hits. Because it gives plus 10% to your uh, torp torpedo protection belt's effectiveness. That ability is incredibly powerful against torpedoes. Like, ridiculously powerful. Especially the stronger your torpedo belt is, the stronger that ability is. Anyway, we're gonna head straight through the middle here. We're gonna take the caps and then we're gonna go straight for the battleship. You might also notice that I have RPF now. This isn't something I had for most of my games, but I do recommend it now. Okay, I'm going around this island. I mean, my torpedoes are reloaded. The important thing is that when you get spotted, you want your torps already to be reloaded. Because if a secondary or something breaks your torp tubes, you can use damage control party to get them back. And there she is. Reload booster and fire HE. Hopefully we can get a fire or something. Excellent. And she is showing side too, so launch everything. Okay, I'm gonna go turn the other way. Come on! Come on! Come on! No, 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 no! Yes! Yes! We almost had a repeat of uh, the last video where we rammed the CV. <laughs> but hey, we got it. With fine torpedoes even. Wow. 68,200 damage. And that gave us a victory. The lock was victorious this time, Mr. Key. I did take 14,800 damage. You know, that could have been, that was really close with the ram, etc. But anyways, here are the captain skills that I recommend using. Increase the gears, last stand, survivability expert, RPF, adrenaline rush, and then swift fish. RPF is really useful. I didn't have it at first, but I'd really recommend it. Upgrades, concealment, propulsion, uh, dispersion, then speed boost. But you could also go for the uh, rudder shift upgrade which I think might make more sense. But these are the skills I recommend. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like to thank the patrons on Patreon. Thank you very much for your continued support, and I hope I'll see you guys next time.